Alright, so this is my in-depth video of all my gear. Uh, I haven't done one in a while, so I just wanted to give you guys an update on all my equipment um, just to see, you know, what a novice paranormal investigator has. Um, and we'll just start down the list here. Uh, we'll start with this. This is my my basic millimeter. I read EMF and temperature. Uh, the white and blue, or excuse me, the yellow and blue is the temperature probe, and up top is the EMF sensor. Um, it's also got a flashlight, which is a gimmick if you ask me, but whatever. Uh, this is the basic one. Uh, it's got the record. It's got the hold, the backlight, you can turn on and off, and you can um, change the range, and you can change the unit in the settings menu. Um, I do have tutorials on my channel on how to go to the settings and whatnot, um, but basically you hold the backlight button first, and you go through the settings. So there's that. And then the other... This is my other mail meter. I'll zoom out here or move out. This is the other mail meter. This one has the REM function, like the REM pod, and it also has the ambient temperature deviation detection system. Uh, it'll detect hot and cold spots and it'll alarm with the appropriate tone. Cold spots for lower tones, hot spots for higher tones. Sorry, my hand's kind of shaky. Uh, it has the antenna here for the REM pot, for the REM function. And then this guy right here is for the temperature deviation setting or function. Uh, these three, these four LEDs are for the REM function. The stronger the signal or the stronger the disruption of the electromagnetic field around the antenna, the more lights you'll get. And this one has the glow in the dark buttons. The basic millimeter does not. The basic will run you around $94. This one will run about $250. So there's this. Um, I have territorials on all my equipment. But that's how you turn on the ATD, ATDD in the rim. Um, just like that. You hear that one beep. You hear that one beep. So that's my. Those are my mail meters. And then I have my basic K2 meter, uh, just a K regular old K2 meter with an on-off switch. I don't have to use the penny for this one. This is the newer model, obviously. It's in black. This one does not have the sound. Um, they have they have K2 meters now that have sound, um, but this one does not, which is okay. I rarely use it. I use it for communication purposes, really. My hand's shaky again. So there's that my K2 meter. Uh, this guy right here, I've never, I haven't used yet. It's just a uh, IR thermometer or laser thermometer, and as you can see, it reads temperature. And I could change it to Celsius or Fahrenheit. So I have that just to detect like hot or cold spots. Um, if I can get it back in the damn case. Uh, going down the list here, I have my ovulus and the digital text display. This, this I don't have a lot of faith in whatsoever. This is more of a really expensive toy if you ask me. Uh, I would not recommend getting it unless you have money to burn and you're just like, what the hell, why not? But for paranormal investigative pur pur purposes I definitely would not recommend this device um, so we'll put that back and then I have my digital camera it's a uh, Nikon or Nikon or however you pronounce it it's about four or five maybe even six years old now it's, your base it's not anything special it's just a regular 
um, regular digital camera. So I have that. And then I have my PSP7. Um, this one has the FM AM. Uh, both I can sweep on FM and on AM. And I use AM the most in my house. Um, it's got all your standard features, power, AM, FM, volume, sweep rate, uh, all that fun stuff. Turn the backlight on and off. Um, mine, I modded. I took the antenna out, so it's just white noise uh, that comes through. And I put tape over the top because I didn't want dust to get in there. So, that's my PSB7. Um, going back, the K2 will run you about, I don't know, 65 bucks maybe, depending on where you get it. The IR thermometer, I got it. I picked it up for 18 because I got it on the Black Friday sale. The Ovilus with the digital text display is like $340 uh, total because the Ovilus is like $220 and the, dig and the display is another $120. So pretty, it's not cheap. Um, this, this empty slot here is for my pocket camera that I use. And the kids are out in the neighborhood again. Um, I have a review of this camera that I'm using now to film this on my channel. Uh, it's a good camera. I've caught all my orbs on this camera. Uh, I got it off of eBay for like 60 bucks, and it shoots in night vision infrared. And I have an external infrared light, which you'll see here in a little bit. And then moving on. I have my digital recorder. I upgraded since the last time. Uh, I have this new, well, new to me, Sony uh, linear PCM recording. Uh, I really like this a lot. I've captured a lot of EVPs using this. A lot of Class A EVPs, actually, to be honest with you. And I am not BSing you whatsoever. Uh, it's a very nice... Uh, digital recorder um, normally they go about 150 bucks but I went to Best Buy and they had one that was pre-opened and it didn't have the box or anything it was just a it was just the recorder and everything that normally comes in the box so I picked it up for a hundred bucks so I don't I would highly recommend this recorder this is a way good recorder for EVPs in my opinion um, it's got the omnidirectional microphone. You can switch. Uh, it's got the on-off, the hold switch, volume. You can actually change the pitch and the speed of playback um, when you're playing back an EVP or something on this device without using any computer software, which is really cool. Uh, it's also got a, a, a marker. So if you hear an EVP, rewind it a few seconds and you and you tap the uh, where it says T mark, uh, it'll mark that spot and then you can skip right to it uh, when you're going through your file and be like, hey, check out this EVP and then boom, you don't have to go searching for it. It's right there. Another awesome feature that I love about this digital recorder. So enough about that. Moving on to my next device. Uh, this is my newest one. This is my Trifield Natural Meter. Um, this one is a little bit more complicated to use uh, for the sense of it's hard to tell whether you pick up paranormal or you pick up yourself or the Earth's natural magnetic field. Um, it's got battery test, as you can see here. And it makes the noise. Then you go, it's got the magnetic setting. And what it does is it calibrates, it's basically calibrating itself to the environment. And then it goes down. Sorry about the shaky hand. And you got your squelch setting here on the side. And then you got your sum. 
your sum function is electric and magnetic so if I were to put my hand to it it would pick it up that's how sensitive this thing is by the way and then electric which is um, DC it's designed to ignore all man-made currents or AC currents uh, as you can see it's sensitive enough to pick up my current natural electricity or whatever you want to call it and then it's got radio and microwave waves uh, I have yet to get any results using this setting I probably will never use this setting I tested it once on my microwave and my microwave is safe needless to say it, it actually tells you in the directions turn on your microwave and if you're getting a reading within 10 feet away then you need to replace the door on your microwave which I thought was kind of weird but this will cost you about 170 bucks um, I got this off a of ghost stop uh, because the website that actually sells these the the company that sells that makes these, this device they are actually selling them for um, almost two hundred dollars so it's one of the rare rare instances that a ghost hunting store store a ghost hunting store price is cheaper um, I got this off a of ghost stop but I definitely like this device it is a little bit more complicated to use um, I've got a couple couple unexplained hits using the electric setting um, I would recommend it you set it down somewhere and they can communicate very easily just by passing by it and setting off the squelch but there's that and then I have my EM pump and I got this from Colorado Colorado Parotech Paratech. you have to excuse my uh, poor speaking skills here uh, this little guy puts out a lot of EMF um, I think the highest I got was 13 13 or 14 thousand milligauss of, of EMF and it was only 40 bucks on eBay uh, you can also make them yourself they're very easy to make it's just a for instance an Xbox motor that turns the disc in the Xbox and a natural earth magnet a couple wires some hot glue and a battery pack in a box you can all pick up at Radio Shack and there's a bunch of territorials on how to do it uh, make your own EM pump but I didn't want to go through the time to build one I just said screw it bought one paid for overnight shipping and voila I have an EM pump um, so yeah this pump was about forty dollars now moving on uh, this is just a speaker that I used to use for my ghost box session uh, it's very loud I, I no longer use this speaker I have it as a backup now um, I now use this speaker right here it's one of those expandable portable speakers um, it's rechargeable it plugs into your USB on your computer and it charges it uh, you get it's very loud just as loud as this big guy uh, this was 20 bucks at Target a uh, very simple speaker I like it a lot um, so that's what I use now for my spare box sessions uh, so we'll put that aside and then before I get on to the miscellaneous equipment uh, I have here this is my full spectrum camera it's a Sony Handycam I got off a of ghost stop as well uh, I got their deluxe package uh, it's a very nice camera I must say for the price um, the whole package they have is 400, 400 and I want to say $79 and it came with an infrared and a full spectrum light um, I got a 32 gigabyte card in here it's got a 3 inch display um, it has a hard time focusing at night I will say that but it's a nice camera haven't captured any orbs yet on this camera 
Um, well, hopefully tonight I will, because I'm gonna have it set up as a static camera, which is why it's out already. But it came with an infrared and a and a full spectrum light. And this is the one of the infrared lights that I have. This is one that came with the camera. Uh, it's a 25 LED infrared, um, as you can see. Very basic. Uh, when I got the light, it does not come with a battery. So be sure if you order a light, it takes a 9 volt. Um, I'm planning on getting a bigger one just because of the focus issue that I have. Uh, I'm planning on getting an IR floodlight. Not a gigantic one, just um, same size LED. I think it's a five millimeter LED, but it's about a hundred, not a hundred, fifty, forty or fifty LEDs, and that's the next light that I'm gonna get. But this is uh, one of the lights that came with the full spectrum package from Ghost Stop, uh, along with this little bracket here that I've had to modify because the screen won't open all the way uh, if it's in the center and that starts the miscellaneous equipment going back to my cases here this is my full spectrum light um, it's extremely bright as you can see and it just blinded me uh, this came this was the other light that came with the full spectrum package um, I've only used this light once uh, I'm not too keen on using it I don't really see the need to use it when I have two infrared lights that work perfectly fine. Um, this is my first LED light, infrared light that I've gotten. This is the one that I use the most in all my videos that you see. This one creates that circle of light that you see in my videos. Uh, it's very bright. These are the 10 millimeter LED. Um, there's obviously five, but I use this one the most. Uh, this light is badass. I got this off of eBay. Um, obviously, if you're going ghost hunting, you want extra batteries. Um, I carry rechargeable and disposables because uh, the rechargeables don't last as long, but I can recharge them. So that's always good but I still use the disposables because they last longer. Uh, I got screwdrivers with the bits. Uh, this is the shoe mount that I use for my, uh, it's kind of hard to see, so I'll set it right there. That's the shoe mount that I use for my pocket cam with the five LED infrared light, and it works perfectly fine. I had to bend this part a little bit to get the light into the picture uh, so you could see the whole light but that was like 15 bucks off of eBay Go Stop sells them for like 20 bucks which I think is ridiculous um, most of the stuff I would recommend looking on eBay or Craigslist or Amazon first before going to a ghost any type of ghost hunting store um, also, for millimeters, I would check out pro-measure.com. Uh, it's the it's Gary Golka's site. Um, DAS Distributors, and they're the ones that make the millimeters. I would go there to get the millimeters because they're cheaper there. Anyway, I uh, just have miscellaneous equipment. Uh, I got tape, uh, electrical tape. This is a little thing for my uh, digital recorder so I can stand it up um, obviously I have a flashlight and then the last piece of equipment that I have is my REM pod and if you go to promeasure.com you can actually get this for like 160 or less whereas if you go to go stop they're selling them for 189 which, yeah, guess what side I went to. Anyway, uh, this one is three times more sensitive than the older models. 
Um, with that being said, it's three times more sensitive than the millimeter I have with the REM function. So I tend to get a lot more hits with the REM pod than I do with the millimeter with the REM on it. But that is a uh, look at all my equipment and let me know if you have any questions. I will be more than happy to answer them and keep a lookout for my uh, more investigating in my home. And until my next video, cheers.